So it's time to check in, as we always do, with Nick Day, Managing Editor of Global Policy and Regulation. Good morning, Nick. Good morning and Happy New Year. Ha Happy New Year to you, my friend. So, um, yeah, I'm always jealous of you and your beat. It's just, it seems to be so much going on right now. And it's, uh, it, this year looks like it's shaping up to be, you know, yet again, another really interesting one. So looking forward to seeing all of your coverage. Um, we had some interesting developments just uh, before the end of the new year, at the end of the year. And that one of them was the FDIC chair, uh, Jelena McWilliams, was resigning. She will be resigning in February. Um, that came out of, out of left field, it seems. Um, but of course, the FDIC important for this whole debate over stable coins and everything else. <clears throat> what are the implications of this? Because this, uh, this gives Biden and the Democrats greater say over the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. Yeah, this was a surprise announcement on New Year's Eve in the last hours of 2021. Chair McWilliams has, uh, you know, just been involved in a uh, bit of a power struggle at the FDIC. Democratic members of the board have tried to publish a request for information on bank mergers that the chair tried to block. And uh, it seems that the spillover of that is the resignation effective next month. Now, the FDIC has already kind of hinted that it's looking into how to, uh, you know, provide insurance or, or deposit insurance for uh, stablecoins and cryptocurrencies uh, a little bit more broadly and how banks can interact with this sector. And, you know, the remaining members uh, include uh, CFPB Director Rohit Chopra, um, as well as Acting Controller Michael Sue, And so... Yeah, there's definitely a lot to keep an eye on as far as whether or not the FDIC is going to continue looking into how it can allow banks to interact with stablecoins and digital uh, digital assets, as well as what's going to happen with the joint interagency uh, work that these three bank regulators have been doing. You know, will there be you know actual some kind of regulatory guidance on you know for banks and for uh, crypto companies trying to interact with the banking sector? Or is that going to either slow down or, you know, even be less friendly than, you know, what the industry is hoping for? Uh, Nick, first, yes, Happy New Year. Of course, in New Jersey, every year is an election year, but this is a federal election year, 2022. So what, what are we seeing positioning in, as far as positioning goes in Congress and Senate and the House and, and, and what have you? This is a midterm election. What, what are the politicians doing here? So crypto is probably going to be a election issue, I think, almost for certain. The question is, how big an issue? And at this point, it kind of seems like it's going to be more something that, you know, some lawmakers or would-be lawmakers are going to discuss on the campaign trail. They're going to campaign on, you know, crypto-specific issues, whether that's the infrastructure bill that passed last year or, you know, other concerns such as securities law or banking law even. But... You know, I haven't seen yet whether or not it's going to be a defining campaign issue. You know, whether or not there's going to be something that, you know, lawmakers will literally base their campaigns around. So far, it seems like, you know, we've got a couple uh, candidates, a lot more candidates than in previous years, I might add, uh, who are saying, yeah, you know, we, we're looking at crypto. We've got some thoughts on this. We think XYZ should be, you know, enforced or implemented, or we think, you know, there's confusion. But no one has yet come out and said, you know, this is going to be what I'm going to campaign on and nothing else. It's, you know, it's going to be a, a election year and now we have to see how the industry engages. We'll wait and see what AOC says in her, in her campaign against uh, Chuck Schumer, if that happens. Right. All righty. 